Okay, so we'll be throwing water right here. Very simple shot, uh, one light source, of course, light, one light source because we have only one light. And uh, I'll be hiding that light behind this diffuser. Right now, I have a brown color uh, Graphite A4 Park at a uh, very low power level and uh, pulls a head behind just with regular, uh, you know, 70 degree reflector. And uh, the flash duration is 1 7,000th of a second. So it will be our, uh, you know, the, te the test shot which we'll compare all the slides to, okay? Uh, again, it's real life situation, uh, not like, uh, you know, major measurable flash duration, but, uh, well, we try to keep it real, okay? And uh, Canon 5D is here. Well, I will use my preferred way to trigger it, you know, human trigger, <laughs> my hand. And uh, everything should look really easy. Uh, I'll be just throwing water. This glass is, uh, I use sticky pad, so it should be, it should be staying here uh, without, you know, flying around the studio, okay? So, three, two, one. Let's do one more, just to have uh, maybe a little bit nicer splash. You see, before this I really got nice splash. So we need some nice splash. And uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, well, maybe one more. Let's do one more. I need to shoot it uh, a little bit. Not that early, so it will be maybe more on uh, uh, some, you know, droplets flying. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, it should be lots of droplets right, flying. Yeah, I got it right. So if uh, we'll take a look at this right now, and if you look closer at the shot, we see that all the action is frozen. Everything looks so cool. Uh, of course, one seven thousand of a second flash duration, uh, even at well. 1 to 100th of a second shutter speed does wonders. Okay, now Alien Chrome. Alien Chrome uh, BRX 500 at full power. Uh, full power because of half power gives us longer, uh, longer flash duration according to specification, which tells uh, me that at full power it will be uh, the shortest possible flash duration. And uh, for most units without IGBT uh, type of um, well, circuit or trigger, uh, it's actually really true that it will, uh, the shortest last duration will be at full power. Okay, so to get relatively good exposure, same exposure or closest as we had, uh, I went F32, I saw 100 and I added two uh, more diffusers, as you can see behind, to block a little bit light, a little bit more light. Okay, three, two, one. Let's do a few more. What are we getting? Uh, it was too early. Okay. A little bit earlier. I'm losing my ability to... to catch it right. What's going on? Ah, man! Ah! Three, two, one! Yes, that was good. Well, last one. Three, two, one. Ooh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It was way too much. It even uh, took out it from a sticky one. So let's see. Uh, what did we get? Let's see. What did we get here? Uh, where's our nice splash? Okay. <laughs> what do you see? Probably the same as I see. No freaking way. It's all blurry, except the very little, which is very slow uh, pieces. So, doesn't work. Sorry, Land Chrome. Uh, Ranger RX probably will be a little bit faster. Uh, well, 1 2600th of a second. Uh, we tested it before, uh, but we'll see how Profoto will perform, okay? Okay, now Profoto. Profoto D1 
uh, fi Air 500. D1 Air 500. Uh, at maximum power, again, at maximum power, it gives us uh, the shortest flash duration, uh, 1 2600 of a second, 2.5 time. Okay, 2.5. Not time, but just a fine. And uh, because, and because it's uh, still at full power, that means we need to keep all the screens and F32 at this Canon uh, to get it exposed correctly. Okay, three, two, oops, 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 I think I forgot something. I forgot the red liquid. So let's pour it there some nice way, whatever, just for fun. Uh, we'll see what will be, you know, with that kind of splash. But now uh, let's do our regular splash, three, two, one. Did I catch it? Well, a little bit earlier. I'm still keep getting earlier shots. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Hopefully now it was okay. No, it was the worst shot. Let's do last one, and you'll be getting a little bit of liquid type of tutorial <laughs> liquid splash okay should be enough i hope so now let's see let's see what did we get here so if we start from the very beginning that's probably the lowest uh, speed type of splashes. It looks kind of okay, right? I don't see much of movements. And if we jump to this, more uh, velocity of uh, droplets, I see some messy stuff. This is a mess. This is a mess, so sorry guys. Profoto D1 Air 500 won't be able to freeze action for your liquids. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now photogenic at full power, okay? Full power and uh, 500 watt second. Uh, let's do the shot, three, two, one. And see what did we get. So we're getting something. By the way, I think it looks a little bit darker than Profoto and uh, Alien Chrome at same power level, 500 watt second. So it tells me that maybe there is some, um, not really 500 second, but I may be wrong. Three, two, one. And the last one, three, two, one. Okay, we did enough mess in the studio. Enough mess in the studio. Uh, let's take a look how it looks like here. Okay. Yeah, as expected. All goes quite blurry. Messy. But I even regret that I was shooting it with uh, photogenic. Such a nice splash. I could imagine if it will be frozen completely uh, with the uh, fast light like Broncolor or Einstein or even speed lights. Okay, so we got this test uh, Profoto vs Photogenic uh, vs Alien Chrome. Like I said, uh, each light is great in its own niche and uh, it's all based on light modifiers, uh, availability, cost of light modifiers and uh, well, all those uh, very little and not little uh, pieces of uh, studio which builds all uh, around the monolight okay uh, i would prefer to go with probably pro photo but it's the most expensive well <laughs> i went with einstein's you know what i did before i went uh, with brown color uh, but basically we tested not the fastest we just tested normal studio lights they're not supposed to be fast i just showed you uh, what kind of uh, numbers uh, of flash duration means uh, in real 
you know, splash liquid shot. Because many people uh, ask, hey, my strobe can do one to thousand of a second flash duration, 2.5. Uh, will it freeze or not? So you see it won't freeze, okay? And 2.5, if you see 2.5 time, uh, it's something is not, um, it tells, usually for me, it tells that uh, that strobe not uh, made for shortest flash duration. Because strobes which are made for shortest flash duration, they specify 2.5 flash duration time. It's real, it's real time. If you want to learn more about uh, liquid photography, you know, strobes, flash duration, all that high speed, high speed action shots in studio, uh, you can take a look at 40G. I have uh, coming uh, liquid photography, liquid splash photography course, or it's already there. There are lots of useful information, free courses. Just check them out. And well, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel, 40G YouTube channel. It was Alex Koloskov, and see you later. Bye.